Hey, how's it going guys? In this lesson, we'll learn how to create a new Google Sheets file using Google Sheets API. So from the last video, we learned how to create a Google Sheets API service instance. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to create a new Google Sheets file using Google Sheets API. So let me pull out the documentation. So the spreadsheets that create method will create a new spreadsheet. And if we quickly look at the uh, information, for the request body, we need to provide an instance of spreadsheet object. And if the request code is successful, then the response body will contain the information of the spreadsheet object. And these are the scopes that you can use to uh, run the spreadsheet start create method. And below is an example uh, using the Google Sheets API that create method. So I won't be using this example. Uh, I'll be using my own example since I already uh, used the API a couple of times. And I have my perfect ways to, to set up my code. So I'll start with something easy. I'll create a blank Google spreadsheet file. So this one's going to be a blank spreadsheet file. I'm going to pass the output to an object called sheets file. Let's call this a sheet, sheets file one, since I'll be doing two different examples the basic example and a more advanced example. So to create a blank spreadsheet file, I'm going to insert a service object. I want to type dot spreadsheet dot create. And here I need to execute this statement to make the API request. And here I'm going to insert a print function to print the sheets file one object. Now if I run the highlighted code, And here's the information of my uh, sheet one object. And based on the output, we know the sheets file is a dictionary. If I just print the keys, from the sheets file one object, we have uh, four keys. So let me grab the information and I'll put this on the top. The spreadsheets URL is the URL of the spreadsheets. Here, let me make a copy of the sheets file one object. And open the spreadsheets URL. Now, if I click on the URL and open the page, and here, let me move the, the spreadsheet over. And this is the spreadsheet file we just created using the Google Sheets API. And the sheets reference will tell you uh, what what sheets got created. So if I print the sheets reference, and from the output we can see that it returns as a list. If I use the length function to see how many uh, items or elements is contained in this uh, sheets uh, reference, and I can see that from this list object, there's only one record uh, is contained, and that means there's only one worksheet. Uh, inside this uh, untitled spreadsheet file. And here you have the spreadsheet ID. So the spreadsheet ID is the identification of this spreadsheet. And the property reference will give you actually quite uh, many information. Here let me print the properties value. So the properties reference what gives you all the information associated to the spreadsheet? So if we, so if we just look at, uh, for example, title, what gives you the spreadsheet title? Auto recalculation setting, time zone, as well as the background color, padding, and formatting style, and so on. Now let's try something more advanced. Sometimes when you create a spreadsheet, you want to set some default properties such as locale, time zone, calculation settings even if you just want to create multiple worksheets. So here I'm going to insert notes. So this one's going to be spreadsheet events uh, example and spreadsheets file with some default settings. I'll start by creating a dictionary. I'll name this dictionary sheets body. Now let's go back to the documentation uh, because this can get a little bit more complicated. 
Right, so if we look at the request body, and we need to provide an instance of spreadsheet object. And here's the spreadsheet object JSON representation. So some of the properties are read only. The properties reference will allow you to configure the spreadsheet's uh, properties, such as the time zone, locale, uh, recalculation settings. And the sheets property allows you to pre-create uh, additional worksheets as well as configure those worksheets. And spreadsheet URL is read-only. Uh, for developer metadata and name range, I'll cover those in later videos. For now, I'll focus on the properties property and the sheets property. Now let's go back to our Python editor. So inside my sheet body, I want to provide the properties property. And it's going to be a dictionary. Inside the properties property, we can name our spreadsheet using the title reference. I'm going to name my spreadsheet uh, my first Google Sheets file. And for the locale, let me go back to the documentation. I want to go into spreadsheet's property object. And for the locale, so here's uh, some of the uh, information on the locale. And for the locale, I'm going to use English US. And for the time zone, and here I forgot the comma. For the time zone, I'm going to insert America, Los Angeles. which is Pacific time zone. And the last one is other recalculation setting. So here, let me, let's go into the enumeration uh, values. For the recalculation settings, so we can set that to, uh, to recalculate every minute or every hour or every time when we update a cell. So I'm going to change the recalculation value to hour. So it's going to be auto recalc, and it's going to be our. Now let's go to the sheets property. So let's say I want to create four uh, default worksheets every time when I run this uh, Python script. So the property name is sheets, and we know it's going to be a list. I'll create the first worksheet. So we need to provide properties. I'm going to just uh, assign a title. I'm going to name this worksheet uh, Sales Sales. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just copy this uh, dictionary uh, three more times. And let me fix the indents. All right, so I'll change this to North. East, West, and South. So four worksheets when we create the uh, the new Google Sheets file. Now I'm going to create an object. I'm going to name this object Sheets File Two. I'll insert the service object dot spreadsheets dot create. Inside the create method. We need to provide our sheets body dictionary to the body parameter. Oops, should be sheets body. And we need to execute to make the API call. And here I'll print the sheets. Actually, I'm going to just copy uh, these four print statements. And I'll remove the, the learn function. And I'll rename these four objects. All right. Now if I select the, the code I want to run and run it. Oh, and here's uh, this locale is not supported. Let me see. So here I have an empty space. I think that was the issue. Now let me try again. So if I 
hide the code I want to run and run it. Now this time the code is executed successfully. So let me run the spreadsheet URL and let me open the page. If we look at the spreadsheet file, so here's my new title, my first Google Sheet file. If I go to File and go to Spreadsheet Settings, and here I can see my locales and my time zones are correct. If I go to Calculation, and here I can see that my calculation setting is set to change every hour. For the iterative calculation, I'm going to just leave this uh, value as default. Now let me close this. If we look at the worksheets in this uh, Google Sheets file, so here's our four worksheets, sales north, east, west, and south. And that's everything I want to cover for this lesson. For the next lesson, we'll learn how to write data to a worksheet.